So for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't know that Christian and I have adopted a kitty and she happens to be a sphinx cat which means that she's hairless, which means that she gets cold easily. So today I'm going to be making her a couple little outfits so she can stay warm. So stay tuned if you want to see how I did that. <laughs> Good girl, Luna. Yes. Good job. Good girl, Luna. So for this first sweater, I'm using, obviously, this only sweater I have for her right now, that, and it fits her really great. This is the reference. And I want her to have clothes that match me. We're gonna have matching outfits, that's the plan. Here's my terrazzo sweater. Oh shoot. So you guys know her, you love her. And here is one of the sleeves. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same side as that. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of reverse engineer the pattern for the sweater, for the sleeve. Use the same needle size, the same yarn and everything, and that should make the neck band part at least the same size. And then we can kind of go from there. So that's how I'm gonna start this off. I'm going to cast on whatever amount of stitches this is and do the half twisted rib. So I finished the um, half twisted rib collar and then I went along and split for sleeves in stockinette and I also added a couple little increases wherever it felt like it was needed. Here's her sleeping. <laughs> so here's the length of the tummy section of this one. So now mine's about that same length. So I'm gonna cast off just the tummy section right here and then I'm gonna keep knitting back and forth to kind of do this area here. And here's me casting off just that um, tummy section. And by the way, if I sound sick in this video, it's because I've been super sick trying to finish this video. Well, the whole time I was making this video, so sorry about that. She wait patiently for her sweater. So I finished casting off. So I've got just these two ends here. <laughs> these two leaves, these two ends. So. And it's like stretchy here with the ribbing. So let me know, do you think I should do little sleeves? Just so she matches my sweater a little bit more. Do little sleeves. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm excited, okay. Here's where I weaved in the ends. You'll have to wait till the final reveal to see how it turned out. Okay, so sweater number two is a sewn sweater and I don't have a reference for a size for a sewn sweater for her right now. So I took the chicken and I took all her measurements and she was a very good girl for this and then I used these measurements to DIY a little pattern for myself. This one should be relatively easy because I'm taking an already existing sweater made for a toddler and just like sizing it down to fit her essentially. Okay. This here is essentially what we're working with and we're going to make it cat size now. So this sweater just came with her as a um, kind of blankie because it's way too big for her, but the breeder gave it to her with us. So I decided to cut it down to size and here I am um, sewing it back together and sewing the hood back on after the front and back panels had been made smaller to fit her. And here I just sewed down the sleeves to make them skinnier, cut them down, and then pinned them on to sew them to the body now with the smaller size to fit the baby. <laughs> Okay, both the sweaters are done, and I'm so excited to show you how they turned out. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> We're matching! And I even did her sleeves like to be like mine. Mm -hmm. You little collar. Are you kidding me? Stormy? You look like mommy, baby. Matching mommy. Got the little sleeves to match. And your little collar. Oh, she looks beautiful. Beautiful. What do you think, Luna? Luna, look at daddy. What do you think? Okay, now we're gonna test the performance of the wearability of this garment. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. We're, we're chicken fishing right now. <laughs> oh, look at her little eyes. That's how you know she's ready. It's gonna happen. 
<laughs> He's seeing its weaknesses. <laughs> there you go. Got a little bit of movement. Okay. Good movement in the in the sweater. Oh, there we go. Oh, good a good leap. One. That That's was a good leap. Oh, she looks beautiful. Oh, sassy girl. For video's sake, I'm gonna pretend that button didn't break. Because <laughs> it did. Bad. Okay. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Okay, get your paw on me. Okay, this one has longer sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she's more embarrassed, that's why she's hiding. Yeah, she, she, doesn't, she, like she doesn't like this one as much, oh, maybe. Yeah. This looks really cute in it, but we gotta get her out. Come on, go. Oh, whoa, hey! The bear came out of the cave. <laughs> the hood action. She just puts her head down. <laughs> <laughs> she just puts her head down. Head down she, she's wearing the hood. You can't, do that. you can't see. <laughs> Look at her little bunny tail or her little bear tail, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry. But I won't do that. She likes this one for some reason. She feels like movable in this. But she gets all weird and wild. Yeah. In this outfit. Oh my god. You see that? Oh my god. <laughs> the floppy little hood. <laughs> <laughs> She's been blinded. Are you okay? Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, by the way, okay, this is what I was going to say. It's not torture because she's hairless, so she has to have sweaters. So it's not like if you have a hairy cat, don't. Don't put sweaters on them unless they're like really cold. But she's fine. She likes it. She needs it because she gets cold. So she's happy. I mean, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell by the way she's playing that she's pretty happy. You're free. <laughs> You're free. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, a, it's an aggressive chicken. <laughs> there you go. The sleeves might be a little long. <laughs> she seems pretty happy, though. Okay. Yeah. Mobility-wise, it's pretty good when I tuck the hood back. I'm pretty happy she just got up to eat some food. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> 